Lord's temple. Yes. You know, the Bible says that we're bought with a price to glorify Him in our bodies. And it's something that I haven't gotten the, the total victory over yet. But, you know, the Bible says that we've been bought with a price. We've been bought with His blood. And we belong to Him. The Lord gave me an analogy that, uh, say somebody loans, loaned you their car, their, their, their automobile or something like that. And you had it, you know, you had it for a good long time. You had it for five years. And, and you got to the point, you said, well, I think I'm going to go ahead and put some water in the, in the gasoline tank. Because after all, it's mine. Nobody should tell me what to do with this car. They don't, you know, they're being judgmental if I'm putting, you know, water in my gas tank. And, you know, if I want to put oil, oil in my radiator, who cares? I mean, you know, you know, I think I know better than the owner's man. I think I know better than what's in there. Who are they to judge me for putting oil in my radiator? Who are they to judge me for putting water in my gas tank? Well, God created our bodies. He made us. When he died on the cross for us, our bodies, I mean, they were his to begin with, but he purchased them with his blood. And so our bodies, our minds, our wills, our tongues, our mouth, our ears belong to God. They're not our possessions he wants literally to have the that our bodies do not, but don't belong to us our minds don't belong to us our tongues don't belong to us our thoughts don't belong to us there's scriptures are taking captive you know to take uh, every, all thoughts captive to the will of Christ and bring down strongholds and, and when we see that our bodies don't belong to us uh, you know I had a it was just like a revelation it's like Satan says well I'm going to tempt you with this I'm well, you can do that. I mean, it's not my body. It doesn't belong to me. It belongs to God. You can go on ahead and do that, but I don't think you should. Because <laughs> he's the one that owns this temple. I haven't been bought with Christ. I don't have the right to, to decide what I want to do with my body anymore. I don't have a right to decide what I want to wear anymore. I don't have a right to decide what I want to say anymore. My tongue belongs to God. It is his possession. God says that we're going to give an account of everything we've done in the body, whether good or bad. And so it's a liberating thought to know that you don't belong to yourself anymore. You belong to Christ. You are his alone. And you have no rights whatsoever to anything in your life, to anything that you, anything that you, you, you think you have a right to. And that's basically all, all I have to say. I'll try to Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And I, 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 I'd rather have Jesus than anything else. Than anything that this world has to offer. You know, I, I'm being out there in the world, and I know what the world has to offer. And I 